Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you my thoughts on where SPS is going to go. We've reached 3.8 cents and we were at a low of like 1.3. That's triple from bottom really. And ultimately I'm starting to sell some already. The question is what is my exit strategy for how I would really move out of SPS? Where would I sell all of it, some of it, half of it? What are my targets and why uh, all this video is going to be pointing that direction how did i get to my sps bag what are the why have i sold some of it recently and what would be targets for how i might exit a bigger position in the months or weeks to come stick around stay tuned have an amazing day guys god bless Wilson said, Dwayne, I meant about selling SPS since you said you were unstaked and are waiting to sell at some number. Okay, so let's maybe make this last conversation piece for today. And I'd love to have you come back, Skeeter, at some point. But um, I don't know about you. What's your SPS bag look like, first of all, Skeeter? Uh, I'm about like 150000 And you like that uh, or you want more? Some more? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to double that. <laughs> yeah. Ditto. Uh, before yeah. SPS bumps a lot so i've been buying uh i bought like fifteen thousand sps this past week uh, i wish i bought more when it was down to like a penny yeah 1.2 cents of course i only bought like 50 bucks back then of course yeah when i sold to okay so i had like a hundred i had at some point in my past i had a hundred thousand sps and then i sold about half of that to buy maybe i sold about thirty thousand of that or forty thousand to get to validator nodes that's when sps was higher i forget how much it cost but it was higher and then I later SPS fell to two cents and, and I sold those nodes for SPS and I got way more SPS. Um, I think I ended up with getting like 80,000 SPS in exchange for essentially traded. I traded 30,000 SPS for 80,000 SPS is what happened uh, because they just, in the meantime, I held the validator nodes. That's just what happened with the price of SPS. Um, and you got your revenue income too. That's right. Nodes as well. That's right. And it was something like that. So I ended up, I had about 250,000 SPS very recently. And, and in part, that's how I got there. Um, I did spend way more SPS on Rift Watchers than I wish I had. Looking back, man, that really stung for all the value. You know what I mean? Like the SPS, I just, you know, that's SPS was hard won and hard to replace. But um, 40 million. And recently I sold 20,000 SPS because for DEC because I wanted to activate more land um, and I did so at 3.8 cents which was like a local high right now like right now we're at 3.3 or something like that so that was a that was an that was probably a smart play at you know at least by today's standards and I do think we're going higher and I do think the higher number will come sooner than most people expect so you might say well why would you sell it at 3.8 cents then and it's about it's about it's a like sort of a multi-factor answer. It has something to do with the fact that right then at that moment, I had an opportunity to move into activating some land, which is going to produce more SPS, which is super important to me as well. I also want to be, I want to get more land. And I think if you think through the acquisition of more assets, whether it's rebellion cards, packs, untamed cards, I've been mentioning some of them really inexpensive. Um, some of these gold foils that I mentioned, some of the opportunities in the marketplace, untamed, rebellion, riff watchers, chaos, really cheap cards I want to access. Well, I, I have something has to go. And so if we remember that most of my SPS, 80,000 of it was acquired at a discount because of the, the node opportunity. And then if we also recognize that that was bought at two cents, then 3.8 cents is practically double. And so I, it feels like my story, my play just made sense to take a little bit in that moment. So I took about 20,000 SPS and I sold it recently to buy the DEC in order to make my land far closer to done. Now it's still not done if I show you quickly. I am, uh, I've got two under construction and as you can see, I've got three that are yet to be developed or whatever, but everything else is ready to go. And there's room for improving some of these things. Like some of these are pretty low, but that would require me to buy more cards too. And so I need more of everything SPS included. I want a million of it. Not, not what I have, but, but I recently acted as I did because of that, all that information I just gave you. And my plan for the future would be if we get to like, hmm, I don't have, I don't really know if I have hard and fast numbers, but I think cons to me, I feel 50 cents is plausible. 
because of all of the factors that I've previously explained in videos that I kind of even touched on today, it definitely has a lot to do with, um, with new player growth. It d definitely has a lot to do with Bitcoin and in the altcoin market having their, their fun and SPS going along with it. And finally, it definitely has a lot to do with liquidity pools and what they if they go up, what that can do for creating new burn demand for like even right now, 30 percent after sound recently covered this and you should follow him. 30 percent returns on DC USDC, 30 percent on two stable coins is nuts. Like to put uh, this is at 10 percent mm -hmm. like very recently. And so I'm saying when this number goes up, one of the things that happens is this number goes up and what is what is the liquidity going up in this context mean it means that you know every thousand dollars of dc that goes in here is like a probably a thousand dollars worth of sps that's being burned probably because there's not there's not so much dc anymore and so you're seeing deletion of dc in order to enter into liquidity pools that are paying amazing returns and these are paid in sps and so um the return for this pool goes up and up and up as the SPS is being deleted because there's because the price of SPS is going up. So people are buying SPS to mm. enter the pool, which is causing SPS to go up, which is causing the APR to go up, which is causing more people to come in. It's literally this exciting, almost like vortex, like upward, like uh, it's like this reoccurring loop that I see coming and is already, I think, starting. And and so I think 30 cents is plausible. I think 50 cents is plausible. I think a dollar or, or more is possible. Now, I'm not counting on that. I'm not expecting that because I don't want to bet on the, like, I don't need this to change my life. I'd like to realize something. And, and so I guess what I'm saying is if we get to 10 cents, I'll probably sell another, like, let's say, 25%, like maybe 25,000. And then if we get to 20 cents, I'll sell another 25,000. And if we get to 50 cents, I'll sell probably 30,000, something like that. And, and then I'll have, but I'm always going to leave like, I'm never going to sell all my SPS. And I guess I'm willing to sell about a hundred thousand more. Uh, leaving me with around 120,000, 100,000 ish. I will, I don't want to go lower than a hundred thousand. And so I'm, I'm talking about scaling out at certain arbitrary numbers. I don't have any basis for saying it will reach there. I don't have a thoughtful, like piece of evidence that I can hold up and say to you, we will reach 10 or 20 or 50 cents. I, I, I just gave you like a, a very brief synopsis as to why I might think those are plausible numbers, but you might totally disagree with me. And so it's not advice. It's just an answer to your question of what I'm doing and why I would be thinking that way. Um, Skeeter, we're already gone over, but I do, I'd love to hear if you have any thoughts about what I just said. And, and then finally, if you just want to, you know, I don't know, tell them about anything you're doing. I, I'm not sure if you have your own content as well, but let them know if you do. Hi, uh, thanks Dwayne. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really think about how that creates kind of like its own flywheel for SPS or the liquidity fuels fuel the flywheel and then the returns get higher and it gets more attractive. Like we saw in the last bull market when I bought it at 60K Bitcoin that like everyone's just coming in. There's like new videos saying like earn $100 a day, $200 a day. And then soon they'll be like, I don't know, earn like people are staking like Bitcoin or other like blue chip crypto for like five to like four to ten percent and then like if you go like a little riskier into like altcoins like dec to usdc and dec's been if it's the can show that can hold stable for a long amount of time i could see like big money people getting interested in that um other things uh i don't i don't make my own content i do appreciate coming on here uh and just talking splinterlands i don't need my own channel or anything uh but uh yeah uh other things i'm doing tonight i'm dressed up with this beefy octopus hat and uh wearing my wizard shirt and a cape because i'm going to play magic gathering tonight nice uh so pretty hyped with that to go play magic with some friends amazing that's amazing thank you so much for coming to hang out today i always appreciate our conversations i love how you have like a thought or a response on like every just topic we just touch on and uh really appreciate it pal and look forward to having you come back uh real soon 
And guys, thanks for the chat. Thanks for the likes. I see 38 likes. Appreciate you all. We had probably 30, 40 viewers like the whole time, pretty much. Um, just to sincerely appreciate your time and attention with this, guys. This game is awesome. I love it. I love talking about it. You guys are part of the community of people that I talk to this about. So thank you for being part of that. I hope you have an amazing day. And like I said, more live content next week. So stick around for that one. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye for now. Yeah, everyone. Stop streams.